Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about another topic which is related to uh, the end times and the people of the house of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Peace be upon them all and about their heritage and their knowledge about the end times. Actually, the people of the house of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, or so-called in Arabic Alul Bayt, they they have like a book, a, a ap apocalypse book. You could call it the ap the, uh, the ap apocalypse of Imam Ali. That's how I I named it. Uh, in Arabic, they call it Al uh, Al Jafar. And it is a book or a manuscript that specifically talk about the end times and Imam Mahdi and the Dajjal and when what's gonna take place in the last days of the earth. And it's a real, a real important book. And it's very, very important. It's like the, the Arabic version of the the revelation but it's not really the same it's very very important because it is a heritage from the people of the house of the prophet muhammad وسلم, and it has to do with with numerology and the, the science and then the wisdom of the letters and the, the secrets of the of numbers and letters and it's called the the the, the Jafar because uh, in Arabic Jafar means the the skin of camel of the camel because this manuscript was written on a skin of a camel and you know the, in the ancient days people write on animal skin so that's they call it that's why they call it Al Jafar. I named it actually I gave it a English name which is the apocalypse of Imam Ali I will post or I will upload more about this book and I will, I will upload some texts and prophecies about the from taken from this this book which is a Jafar or the apocalypse of Imam Ali actually there is a manuscript which is the biggest secret also it's another Islamic manuscript that uh, has some passages of about this apocalyptic book so uh, the, the author of this manuscript said some great inf information and some some very important information about the book so uh, the passage of the um, of the manuscript reads as follows, and I'm gonna start reading. Imam Ali, may God honor his face, said, "If I told you what I heard from the mouth of Abi Abi Qasim, you would have left me white, saying Ali is one of the most lying liars and the most immoral of the sinners." Allah the Almighty said. In fact, they, arbitrar they arbitrarily rejected as false whatever they, they failed to comprehend. In this book that speaks the truth, I mentioned the Jafar of Imam Ali, son of Abi Talib. May God be pleased with him. It is 1,700 sources of keys and, and the lips and lips of the stars of knowledge and it is known to scholars of letters as Al Jafar al Jami' and uh, Al Nur al Lami' according to the Sufis it is the tablet of fate and destiny and it is said to be the hidden knowledge and the, the guarded secret and it was said in the hidden language of the people of the wisdom of letters that it, that it is the key to the secrets of the unseen and it was said that it is the key to the tablet and the pen and it was said that, that it is the key to wisdom and the people of the of ballads said it is 
a book about the the accidents of the universe that is it clearly clarifies the mysteries of matter and is the interpreter of the incident of the accidents of the of ages that it is the key to worldly knowledge that it is the secret of fate and destiny and that it is the key to the science al jafar is two great books one of which was mentioned by imam ali may, may god be pleased with him on the pulpit while he was standing preaching in kufa on what will will come to be clarified in this manuscript if allah wills and the other and the other book is the secret, the secret of the messenger of god may god praise and peace be upon him and in it is the hidden knowledge and it is referred to by the words of the prophet may god's prayers and peace be upon him i am the city of knowledge and ali is its its, its gate and the prophet may be may peace and prayers be upon him commanded ali to write it down so imam ali so imam ali may allah be pleased with him wrote it in separate letters in the manner of the book of adam peace be upon him on the jafar which is a parchment that was made from un, from camel skin so this book became famous among the people under the names al jafar al jami' and al nur al lami' and it was called al jafar and al jami' because what happened to the first nations and what happened to the to the later nations was inscribed in it and people they differ in its arrangements and breakage so some of them so some of them broke it by the small breakage like imam jafar as-sadiq may god be pleased with him who broke its big chapter as follows alif ba ta and tha to its end and its small chapter from abjad to arsh and some scholars have referred to the large to the large or big chapter as the great jafar and the small one as the small jafar which has been corrected and reversed as for as for al jafar al kabir or the big jafar it it contains a thousand a, a, a thousand sources and as for the small one it contains 700 sources and know that all the pens are arranged in in the order of abijad except for the arabic pen and some of the scholars write is with the middle breakage which is the best and in it is the orbit of the lunar secret, secret and the solar secret and through it the secrets the secrets of letters are written and it has many styles and secrets and among them are those who write it in the big breakage which is the one from which all languages and names are extracted and among them are those who write it in the, the method of literal composition which is the doctrine of plato and among them are those who write it in the the method of numerical composition and each of these methods leads to the desired purpose and the intended am- and the intended method so understand for i have opened the door for whoever wants to enter and allah speaks the truth and he guides the path and know that every knowledge has a speech and every speech has a tongue and every tongue has an expression and every expression has a doctrine and every doctrine has its, pe- its people one of the strangest things is the wisdom of the sense of allah and it is not similar to the wisdom and knowledge of the west so if you win it take it with strength and worship your lord until the last moment of your life which will most certainly come jafar sadiq may god be pleased with him said we have the white jafar the red jafar and the perfect jafar or so called al jafar kamil and the steadfast imams from his family knew knew the secrets of this great affair and when some of the caliphs wrote to ali ibn musa arida to pledge alliance to him he said you knew about our matter what your fathers did not know so i play i pledged alliance to you but allah almighty concealed his knowledge from most scholars because of the great secrets 
it contains that could extend the lives of kings and because of what it contains of divine wisdom, Syriac, mysterious and divine interests. And the elders did not did not allow did not allow people to learn from it, except some of its secrets secrets that are contained in its special composi composition and the causes of the types of sub subjugation and influences of language, appropriation, isolation, death and revival, and other unique be unique benefits and secrets. And, it is, and in it is the name of, the, of Allah the greatest, the crown of Adam, the seal of Solomon, and the amulet of Asif. And among the people of uh, investigation and knowledge, such as Abu Abd rahman Al-Sulami, Al and Sahil ibn Abdullah Al-Tastari, and the bestowers of success among the, the ancestors, such as Abu Muhammad al-Hassan al-Basri and Sufyan al-Thawri who still glorify the statues of the, of the Jafar learn from it, seek its secrets and take from its light and the well-established scholars and the wise have crowded into the study of the book of al-Jafar so I picked from the secrets what is more comprehensive and complete after I, I read the book of Adam, the book of Seth, the book of Noah, and the book of Abraham, peace be upon them. Then I read the book of the fountain of, of wisdom by Asif, son of, of Barkhiya, son of, of, of Shamuel. The book, Secrets of the Secrets, the book of the Amber, or the Urn, the Hidden Scriptures, the Great Covenant, the Jannars, the book of the Tablet and the Pen. Then I... Then I analyzed the lunar hidden symbols and the solar hidden, hidden symbols until the sun of divine knowledge and taste for secrets shown in the sky of my spirituality with the benefits for which I embarked on a journey and for which I served man. So I questioned the tongue of knowledge and awakened the interpreter, the interpreter of knowledge and I won the unseen keys and the sacred lamps which could only by, be found by the knowledgeable and steadfast.